Today, on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly, I'm going to show you how to add drama to an image using Topaz Studio 2 and the Precision Contrast Filter. Stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. Today, I want to show you how to add some drama to an image using one of my favorite filters inside of Topaz Studio 2, and that is the Precision Contrast Filter. I'm going to couple it up with another filter, the AI Clear filter, which kind of gets overlooked now that uh, Topaz Denoise and Sharpen AI are out. But this is an old filter that works really well for removing noise. I'll be building drama up, as I said, in this image, and some noise will get induced in there. I'll show you how to get rid of it really quickly with the AI Clear filter. Well, here I am inside of Topaz Studio 2. I'm just going to come up here to Add Filter, and you're going to find the Precision Contrast filter under the Essential tab. And you'll find it right here, Precision Contrast. I'll just go ahead and click on that. And we're going to make some adjustments here. And what I really love about this filter, it breaks contrast down into micro areas of contrast, low areas of contrast, medium, and high. It also has some lighting adjustments, an equalization adjustment, which is really cool, as well as color adjustments. And it also has a color contrast adjustment that can really come in very handy for you. And we'll be using that today as well. But we're going to start out with micro contrast. So what I'm going to do is just start to drag this to the right. And basically what I'm trying to do is build some drama up in these clouds here. And we're going to get it with this one. So we're going to start dragging this to the right. And when I do that, can you see that drama that starts building up there in the clouds? And I'm going to take it to a right around here, 60. Now, if I zoom way in, you're going to notice I have a lot of noise up here in the clouds. You see all that noise in there. But we're going to get rid of that really easy. I'm not going to do that yet. I want to make the adjustments first. Because the AI clear filter is a little on the slow side, and I don't want that to slow us down. So we're going to add that last. If you hold your space bar down, you can see before and after. So here's a before, and here's an after. But look at that drama already up there in those clouds. I really like that. Next, we're going to work with low contrast. So I'm going to start to drag this slider to the right, and it's looking for lower areas of contrast. And I'm going to take this up to, like, say, right around here. 55. And now we're going to work with high. I'm going to skip medium. I don't think I need to mess with medium, but we're going to turn up the high contrast. And so let's start to drag it to the right. Now it's looking for higher areas of contrast. Can you see those higher areas getting darker? Okay, so I'm going to take that up to right around 50, right there. So let's take a look. Here is the before, and here is the after. Now, I want you also to notice that we have lighting, we have shadows, midtones, and highlights that we can adjust if we need to. I'm not going to mess with those, but let me show you this one here, equalization. We have low, medium, and high. I'll show you low, so check the image out when I click on low. Makes the, some of the darker areas get a little bit darker. It is equalizing out the image. Here is medium, and here is high. And I think... Low gives me the most drama, but I think the shadows are a little too dark, so I'm going to use medium. And see, the shadows are not blocking up like they were when I clicked on low. You see that, like, right in some of these darker areas. So we're going to use medium, and I think that's going to work. But I highly recommend that you try them all out. And then we're going to work with some saturation and vibrance here. I think I'll start with vibrance. I'm going to take the vibrance and start to drag it to the right, because I'd like to get a little bit more color out in the sky, get the blues in the sky to start popping out a little bit. So let's take this vibrance to the right. And I think I'm going to go to right about here, 60. And now let's take the saturation up as well. I'm going to take the saturation up a good bit, and I think I'm going to take it up to like 70 right there. Here's the before, and here's the after. It's looking good. It's a little bit orange in these areas here, but check this out. Remember I told you about the color contrast? If I drag the slider to the right, I'll build up color contrast. You see that? But I'm going to take it to the left, and I'm going to take it the whole way off to minus 1. And you see how that got rid of all that orange in there? Again, here is the before, and here is the after. But look at that really nice drama that I was able to build into this image with this precision contrast filter. Now, let me get rid of that noise. Let me go ahead and zoom in up here into the sky where you can see all that noise in here. We'll come up to Add Filter, 
And under Essential, it's the very first filter. It's an AI filter, and this is where Topaz started with denoise and sharpen. It all started right here, and this filter still works exceptionally well. And all we have to do is click AI Clear. It's very simple to use. This is auto. It's not good. Well, yeah, it gets rid of most of the noise up in there right with auto. And I think I think that might be good. I can look around and see if it's missed anything here. I'm mainly looking up here in the sky. And I think I think it's got it, really. I don't see any noise in there. No, I think that's looking good. Let me go ahead and zoom out. But that just gets rid of that noise in there. And then you also have these buttons here, low, medium, or high, for different areas of noise. If you just want to get rid of low amounts of noise, medium, or high. But I find that auto generally works pretty well. If you have some really stubborn noise, you might have to use high. Now, it also enhances sharpness. It has a low by default and a high if you want to increase the sharpness even more. I generally just leave that on low. And then you can recover details. It defaults at 0 0.10. I'm just leaving it there. I think it looks good right there. And then we have exposure. To build a little more drama here, I'm going to pull back the exposure just a little bit to maybe like a minus 20, I think, right there, just to pull that exposure back a little bit. And you also have a clarity adjustment. We can even build some more drama out if we take this clarity and start to bump it to the right. You see that? But it's going to get too crunchy down in here. So I'm just going to shut that off. And if you double click on any of the names, you'll reset them back to their default settings. And I'm just leaving that clarity shut off. Again, here is the before. I'm just holding down my space bar. Here's the before. Look at that. And here is the after. All that drama with the precision contrast filter. And again, I had a little bit of noise in there. But AI Clear got rid of that. So all of you out there with Topaz Studio 2, don't forget about AI Clear. If you have some noise as you're working on your edit, don't forget about AI Clear. It can really come in very handy. I started my edit out in Photoshop and just brought it into Topaz Studio 2 as a plug-in. I just wanted to save some time today and go right into Topaz Studio 2. But all I need to do at this point is click Accept, and that'll send me right back to Photoshop. Let me go ahead and show you the before and after one more time. Here is the before, and here is the after. But look at all that drama I was able to build in there. You got to give precision contrast to try. This is a really great filter, and this is a filter that I use a lot, and I really swear by it. So give it a try. Well, there it is, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get a notification. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.